way do I want to go? So once again, we are going to the uh, underground caverns because we want to explore the area underneath them. Ouch. Now we're trying to get a piece of equipment that will allow us to get another piece of equipment, um, but we will not have access to it until I believe after we do this, so. gonna sit there and eat pizza? Forget you. Alright, let's go. This specifically was the area in this game that really scared me as a kid for some reason. Like the music, everything about this area is just terrifying for some reason to, to me as a child. It's not actually scary, it just feels scary. Doom Wolf says I get it. Yeah, big big toaster stream heads will will get that joke. stopwatch. Does it work in this fight? Ah, it slows him down. Ouch. Gatling gun heads that rotate. I need more range. <laughs> Do I want to let it just kill me so that I don't have to take that much damage from fucking one of the easiest bosses in the game that I just can't hit because I have too short of a weapon? We'll equip the Basilar and it'll be better. <laughs> this is goofy. Bad Wolf says, gosh, I forgot how pretty this game was. Yeah, this game's beautiful. All right, so before that fight, go ahead and equip. Uh, what do I want? Basilard, probably. Could use a Star Flail. It's not terrible. How fast is this? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, 
I wish I could slide kick. Ouch. Um. I don't know. I don't know if the card. I I don't know if the one I need. I don't know if I have the familiar that can push that button. We'll have to see. I don't think she will. Yeah, no. I think we need the imp card to do that. No. Oh, well, actually, that's fine. These fucking things, the Uko Bok. They are such a pain. Oh, they're called gremlins in this translation, I guess? Shame on me. I can never remember. I believe they're called Uko Bok in, in the other uh in the other version. Piecemeal says uh, that's what it was like to play Injustice. Yeah, that was the what Lex Luthor uh, Green Arrow matchup or Aquaman. Well, I don't remember what it was exactly, but okay, cool. We got the Demon card. Oh, oops. I was doing the, the flash kick backwards. <laughs> All right, relics, well, turn that off, turn devil on. Command me, my lord and master. Is he gonna hit the switch? Do it. Push the button, dude. There we go. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Why don't I press it and see? Ouch. Thornweed, thornweed. I like this enemy. This is like one of my favorite Castlevania enemies. I just think they look cool. They're called Venus Weeds in this game. I believe uh, in Japanese they're called Al Rauna. Just neat. Cool, historical. Ring of Aries. Turkey. Peanuts and then the power of Sire. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like these like mushrooms that are just growing here like diegetically. It's kind of cool. That's environmental storytelling, folks. These are some stinky caverns. Okay, yay. We got the combat knife. This should attack pretty quickly. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's okay. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if it's if it's better than the jewel knuckle. Catacombs. The area of the game that just looks like Circle of the Moon. <laughs> Down, cat eyed circlet. I think that's something that we actually want. Big HP restore by cat damage, restores HP by poison damage. Okay, it's not the item that I thought it was. I yeah, will keep the stone mask on then. It's actually probably a good idea to look at our equipment now and just make sure we don't have other stuff that's useful. We don't really. Uh, piecemeal ravioli says, what the hell is cat damage? Damage dealt by cats. I wish I had that in real life. Wear skeletons. Our enemies from uh, Rondo of Blood. I've always liked these enemies for some reason. I like that they, uh... I like that they're, like, interactive. not much better than the jewel knuckle to be honest it doesn't attack as fast which is a bummer The, I can't remember the command for soul steel, uh, which should be, yeah, I, I should be able to cast it now. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I think it's an overdrive command, maybe. Let's try that. Um, yep, all right, first try. This is a pretty OP skill. It uses half of your uh, half of your mana, but we're gonna grab the Vibuti, I think. Cause I think the salt can kill the slimes. Could be wrong, but. Oh yeah, this is where we need. Uh, that thing.
I don't remember what the Karma Coin does. It gives you like a random effect, I think. Fuma Shuriken, cool. Work bun. <laughs> Ren says, aware skeleton. Do they just lose their flesh every full moon and then have to grow it back? <laughs> All right. So we got the spike breaker. This is an incredibly important uh, pair of boots, I think. Uh, oh, this is good. Yeah, confers the strength of 24 men. And now we can just equip the jewel knuckles and not worry. We're going to do so much damage. Uh, and now, um, spike breaker. Here we go. Spike breaking armor. Uh, oh, but our, our defense is now zero. So maybe we don't want the ring of Aries. Take the ring of pales for now. Where clock. <laughs> All right, so we got the spike breaker, which is really helpful. Is there anywhere else down here we haven't been? That'd be a no. There is one little section of the map down there that I need to explore because I missed it. So maybe we'll just go over there real quick. Oh, I'm not equipped. I'm not wearing the stone breaker. Oops. There we go. Meal says that looks satisfying. It was. It was very satisfying. We have a pretty good amount of health and stuff now. Shadows in this area are so cool. Up. We're making progress, folks. Look at this. All right, is this it? This is Ice Brand. Damn it, I thought this was where... Uh, I got really excited. I thought this was where something I wanted was. It might be in the, uh, in the other version. Jewel Sword? I don't think I've ever gotten that item. Transforms enemies into jewels. What does that mean? It's slow. Oh, you know what it does? It gives me jewels like things to sell. Uh, 
That's that's not. I don't care about that. Give me, give me my fist punchers. What is in here? What am I missing? What, what's about? What is it about this room that I'm not understanding? Is it just a just a screw you dead end like type situation, or is there a puzzle there that I just didn't understand? Didn't know how to read. Oh, I forgot about this. Ooh, we didn't save. Oh, thank God we can exit out. Walk armor. Also, hello, Narik. Welcome to the stream. There's a there's gonna be a fun fight. We're gonna like this. That's all I was trying to do that whole time, I just couldn't. The input parser in this game is pretty rough. This might actually be the fight where the holy uh, rod helps again as well. I don't have any of the really like OP. Uh, I don't have any of the really OP weapons uh, for for taking down enemies like quickly. But... This thing is what makes it alright.
There we go, we beat Legion. That was our victory dance. RIP, but it's upside down. I wonder why. This might be it. No, this is the Mormagill. What is this one? Strong versus holy, the black sword. Yes, this is an important weapon for later. I don't remember if turfing or Mormagill is better as a dark weapon. Uh, now that we've been down there though, I can do what I wanted to do earlier. to the library. Look at that. What can I do for you? I'm interested in... <laughs> like you. <laughs> like you. I'm interested in this. to buy that. Oops. That's fine. I meant to buy Joseph's cloak, but I guess I don't have enough for it. <laughs> like you. <laughs> like you. Now that he has done now now that he's done his duty and sold us stuff. Let's hassle him a little bit. this game better would be to give you jump momentum when you backdash. get more for doing this more than once it does use our magic unfortunately Max up. Let's quickly just go back in here just to make sure. I don't know why that sound is playing though.
Yeah, I don't remember if doing it uh, more than once does anything for us. It's just one of those things where we can, like, do it. But yeah. I think we can get stuff, but I don't think I have enough mana for it. So I know the exact next place where we want to go. And it's pretty simple. You see that little spot over there on the left side of the screen? We want to travel all the way over there. Haley says the flea men always stop me when I'm trying to play uh, because they're, they always mess me up. That makes sense. Uh, they're annoying, but once you learn how to deal with them, they become less annoying. Definitely a pain, though. I'm coming up here to save really quickly. Uh, and the reason for that will become apparent in a second. Not in a second, but... Swagmont says, No, I come in at the end of Wood Carving Partita. Still SOTN song, though, hype. Hey, Swag, how you doing? I like Wood Carving Partita. It's not my, it's not my favorite of the songs. Crystal Teardrop still, still gets it for me, but I do like it a lot. It's so elegant. Uh, let's see. What's the quickest way over there? Yeah, we need to we need to teleport again. Swag says, "Hello, we met at Roar the other day." Yeah, I remember you. Glad you're on this Castlevania now. Well, yeah, we're gonna be on Soten probably till the end of the month because uh, I plan on doing all of the different character playthroughs. So it'll be a little bit long-winded, but I'm sure people will have a good time with it. Swag says, have you completed this game before? Yes, I have beaten this game many times. I've beaten every Castlevania game. Uh, as, of, as of this recording, I've done every one, yeah. I was gonna be able to chain it all the way there. Oh fuck. Alrighty. We're close to where we wanna be. User says those horses scared the shit out of me as a kid. Me too. And they're so brutal. They do so much damage. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. Th that can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. I love Maria's animations. All right. So we have the gold ring here. Wear clock in tower. Uh, 
So <laughs> it seems like what it's trying to say is where in Clock Tower, but... <clears throat> All right. So we're going to need to go back to the clock room. Oh, oops, wrong button. This way? Do I have this right? I do. And now we'll head back to the clock room. I could just wing smash on command this would be so much faster <laughs> it's just so it's so tough to do even on leverless wing smashing is tough Uh, let's keep moving forward. Where do I want to be? Uh, clock tower is over there. Oh, you know what? I could have just gotten there from where I am right now. That was stupid. Haley says, are you playing Soten on a stick? I'm using one of my leverless controllers, yeah. I was playing on a stick yesterday because it was easier on my hands because when I play on a controller, um, for this particular game, I I rest my hand on top of it like it's a fight pad. Uh, anyway, and it was just it was cramping my left thumb, so it's easier to just have my hands on my <laughs> my lever list than it is to use a controller. Oh, I forgot <laughs> the, the impul attack then. Ah. Not here, I want to go down. Yes, okay. So this is going to be the one part of the game where there is a piece of content that I unfortunately will not be able to to record uh, in a simple <laughs> playthrough like this. Uh, because this is a good example of content that is not in this version of the game, and I will explain it in a minute. So this is a save room, and this is a hidden area, uh, and it looks like it's a setup for a boss encounter, and that is because in, I believe, every other version of the game that has ever been released, there is a boss fight here that is not in the PS1 version of the game. Haley says, I didn't know there was missing content. 
uh, there is a lot of content that is not in the PS1 version of Symphony of the Night. Uh, and it was all restored for the Dracula X Chronicles re-release of this game and the Castlevania Requiem re-release of this game. Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. So in the, I believe, the Saturn version of this game and the Requiem version of this game and in the DXC version of this game, uh, before Maria gives you the holy glasses, you have to fight her. And she is actually kind of difficult on a casual run. Uh, Swagmutt says, how the hell is Maria getting uh, through the castle? Alucard can fly as a bat, turn into mist to get through gates, utilize grav boots. With Maria, reveal your secrets. Maria is the most OP and broken character in this game by a wide margin. Uh, if you go by the Saturn version, she is without a doubt the most powerful playable character in any Castlevania game. Uh, so we'll we'll talk about that later when we get to that run. But uh, Maria is a monster. She is extraordinarily powerful. Now, in the DXC port of this game, the, the Requiem version, Maria is much weaker. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about why that is and the, the various uh, internal Konami political reasons why the Saturn version is so different than the versions that came after it. Um, but suffice to say, uh, it was something of a balance change, I think, uh, with uh, with DXC Maria because she is she is significantly less powerful um, than she was in the Saturn version. Cyber Ventura says there were internal political reasons for the changes. Yes, uh, Koji Igarashi hated the Saturn version of this game. He he essentially undid all of the changes from the Saturn version um, in later re-releases because it was a very difficult project to work on um, and just like internal team goals were not aligned um, and, and some other factors like that. But we'll, we'll get into that later um, when, we, when we play the Maria modes uh, to showcase them because uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very interesting development history. Let's save the game here. 